so now i'm going to the sharing tab and here we are going to see the entire this thing and i am currently skipping the texture paint because i have come to know that uh, blender is going to completely overhaul the uh, working workflow of the texture paint so we will be seeing the shading tab until then and here we are going to see this entire part which is called as file browser and here if you tap t on the keyboard you can get access to these drives these are c drives and other locations and then if you want you can bookmark your files uh, folders so there is this wonderful option called bookmark and what you need to do is actually be in that folder which you want to get bookmark and then click on add bookmark and it is going to bookmark it and if you want to bookmark this folder then you need to be within that folder and then click on plus button and it will add it to the bookmark and then you can rearrange it as well and then the one of the most wonderful thing that i love in blender is uh, it will remember the last recent location that you have gone to and if you want you can cancel it as well and this can be accessed with the help of t button and uh, then uh, you have these options to go back uh, i don't think there is uh, any thing special explaining in this then you can go one file up and if you have changed any file in the folder system from windows explorer then you can use the button of refresh and refresh if there is any changes that you have done and with the help of this button you can add new folders to your files and if you don't want the folder you can just select the folders and hit delete button and this is the path this is a very wonderful option and a very useful option what it actually means is for example i am somewhere over here in this file and uh, there are lots of files over here so what we need to do is we can click over here copy this path click on this path and paste it here and the moment i hit enter it is going to go into that location and i can just click and drag and place it wherever i want so that's how this path can be used if you want you can use this search box as well and let me get back a little bit up and with the help of this option we can see the details you can see the list view you can see the thumbnail view if you want you can also make different sizes of thumbnails so that you can clearly see what kind of image you are going to select recursions is a very wonderful concept what it actually means is you can get you can access this recursion from here as well as from here so what it actually means is one level two level three level what i have done here is i have created a folder system where in the new folder i have a folder number one within which i have an image and also folder number two in the folder number two i have an image with number two and also folder number three and in this folder number three i have an image three so if i go to the new folder what will happen is i have to go inside one inside two inside three but with the help of recursion i am just hitting the back space button with the help of recursion what you can do is you can click on one level what it actually does is it is going to show you that there is a folder within one named two and also an image if i take recursion level three it is going to go three levels inside the folder and going to show you not only the files it is also going to show you the folders which are there within the main folder so that's how the recursion works and uh, let me keep it at none and area is just the usual thing if you want you can select all select none select inverse box select and then we have these options called folder blend files if you have blend files for example i have a blend file on the desktop and if you want to access it what you can do is you can just select the blend file and it is going to be uh, appearing over here uh, so some of you might have an, have a doubt that what can be done with the help of this blend file over here in this shading section 
what we can do is we can click on append and it is going to give us a folder system which has different files of the same blender file and we can import all the different things into this file which i am going to create a video on so uh that's i think that's it for this guys i hope you are liking such sessions if you are liking such session make sure that you hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the share button and if possible leave a wonderful comment and also if possible you can support me through google pay phone pay paytm phone number will be given in the description and also a patreon page link is also given in the description to which you can support me if that is also not possible you can support me through watching the entire ads which are falling on these videos without skipping them that will help me a lot and with that being said and then try to see it learn it understand it i will see you in the next video Man.